It's not only Nigerians that are reacting to the disrespect on Afrobeat music, guys. Even Nigerian musicians themselves, the Afrobeat singers, they themselves are not happy. Many Nigerian musicians are offended and they are coming out to defend themselves. For example, Ira Star came out completely, you know, bamboozled. She was like, what is going on? What is happening in the music industry? And Ira Star had this statement to make. She clearly stated it clean and clear that Afrobeat is Nigeria is created by Nigeria, is Nigeria music, and Afrobeat does not belong to South Africa. That's what uh, Ira Star came out to, to say on the internet. And you cannot blame her. Because what uh, these American music awards are doing, what the Americans are trying to do, they are trying to generalize all African music into Afrobeat. Why are they trying to generalize all African music into Afrobeat? Afrobeat that Nigerians worked so hard to develop and create and grow it. And even did that on that struggle because they were facing challenges from Ghanaians, South Africans, Cameroonians, and all other Africans who were against them, telling them that they should keep their Afrobeat in their country. They should not play it in their countries. And now that that Afrobeat has made a name for Africa, all Africans now want to fall under the Afrobeat. That's why Nigerians are not happy. And it's not correct. And Nigerians have the right to defend Afrobeat music because it's their thing. They created it. It belongs to Nigeria. And for it to be disrespected like this, no, 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 no. It's gradually become so, becoming something else where every year we see that Nigerian musicians are snubbed at their own thing that they created. And they are giving awards to people who do not even know what is Afrobeat. Yes, South Africans don't know what is Afrobeat. Tyler knows nothing about Afrobeat. As a matter of fact, this is where the things get even more interesting. During the award ceremony, when Tyler was receiving Best Afrobeat Award, can you imagine receiving Best Afrobeat Award? Tyler herself said it in a speech that Americans have confused African music. African music is so diverse and African music is not all about Afrobeat. African music is not all about Afrobeat. As a matter of fact, Tyler openly told those, um, those MTV Music Awards organizers that she doesn't do Afrobeat. How can you be giving somebody Afrobeat award when the person is telling you openly that I don't do Afrobeat? The music I do, I represent on my piano. I represent my South African culture. I do not do Afrobeat. That's what Tyler told them. You understand? You can go and do your research and find out if you think I'm joking. So, why are they creating the confusion? Why are they trying to bring this problem between Afrobeat and my piano and African music in general? You see, the, black, the Americans are so ignorant about the continent of Africa. According to them, maybe they still think that Africa is one country. Uh, where once you hear a, a genre of music in Africa, you just join it. In America, why don't they just say American music or hip-hop music? or R&B, or country. They have different music in America. Why can't they understand that in Africa, we also have different genres of music? Not just Amapiano and, and Afrobeat. South Ghanaians had their Azonto, which was a massive failure. But it's a genre of music. We also have our rumba music, the Congolese kind of music. We also have our classical, olden kind of music. We have different kind of music in Africa. But these Americans, they have no clue, no idea. That's why they are just mixing everything up and creating problems between Nigerians and South Africa. Because right now, South Africans who are intelligent enough, at least eh, I applaud the girl that won it. I applaud Tyler. That's why sometimes I always defend Tyler to an extent. Because this girl always comes out to say the truth. Tyler is one girl that I've noticed that she always stands for the truth. Even when South Africans were against Chidima Vanessa trying to treat her badly, Tyler came out to say the truth and tell them that what you're doing to this Nigerian lady is wrong. And so I was really happy that she received the award. However, she couldn't deny it. But she made it clear to them that you can't be giving me Afrobeat award because I'm not doing Afrobeat. I don't do Afrobeat music. That's what Tyler told them. And that misconception has to end. And that's why I've been encouraging Nigerians to go to MTV Awards pages, go to American Music Awards pages, the BET, the Grammy, and let them know that Afrobeat is not a my piano music. 
Afrobeat is a particular genre of music. Afrobeat is not African music. African music can, can have Afrobeat as a part, can have a um, piano, can have different other kinds of music. So it's better for them to say best African artist. They shouldn't say best Afrobeat and disrespect Nigeria because no one can ever do Afrobeat better than the Nigerians. No one. I'm not, we are not saying that South Africans cannot do Afrobeat. They can do it. They have the right to do Afrobeat. Sing it like the way Ghanaians are singing Afrobeat. Cameroonians are singing Afrobeat. Everybody is singing Afrobeat. But let the Afrobeat artists be recognized. If this song was an Afrobeat song, let it be recognized. So she came out clearly and said, I'm not doing Afrobeat. I'm an Amapiano piano music. I represent South Africa. I represent my culture in South Africa. And we all know that South Africans don't have anything to do with Afrobeat. Yet, that cheating took place. It's very, very unfair. And I don't see why... Uh, South Africans or any African should be happy with this because this is a disgrace to all Africa. It's a disgrace, yes, because it's, it's, a, it's a mix up of African culture. It's a disgrace to all Africa because America doesn't know well about Africa. They claim to, to, to try to integrate Africa, but in their doing so, they disrespect us by generalizing us, putting us under one umbrella, which is not correct. They should respect African cultures and respect the diversity in Africa if they want to put Africa in, in among their things that they are doing. But if they're not going to do it, they should leave Africa aside. I love the fact that Nigerians don't give a damn about the awards anyway. Nigerians don't care about BET, Grammy. They don't glorify it. Nigerians focus on winning, making money. They don't care about those awards. They don't make sense anyway. Because how can... I mean, this is just the height of it. It doesn't really make sense. So I'm happy that this thing is happening so that we can clear the air. Nigerian musicians are not happy and I'm happy that they are coming out to speak. Bonaboy is speaking. Tyler, uh, Tyler herself spoke. And Iron Star is speaking. We need more people to speak. We need Nigerians to react on the internet so that these Americans and these Europeans can know that you cannot just temper with Africa and go free. You understand? So we don't have a problem with South Africans. The yeah, Amapiano is good. Let them continue doing it. Let's continue winning all of us as Africans and let African music continue to dominate the world. It is what it is. Your boy Ajay Max on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free, guys. God bless you. Cheese.